Eco reefs are a quick and simple method of of producing what what's similar to uh, to a mangrove, uh, which, as we all know, is uh, is the, the beginning of life in, in an aquatic environment. We the, it, fish breed there, um, other aquatic animals, plants. It, they, they, they you know they, they continue to to give give life, and uh, but but they take years years to to generate and often can be destroyed in the matter in a matter of a few of, of, of a few minutes eco reefs take a few minutes to 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 make uh, and a few days to generate some sort of life form we've tested eco reefs um, in, in, as a as a filtration system for a garden pond a simple a, a small but we, we cannot we can only test them very small because obviously we're just a backyard uh, operation we can't do them anything in that but they work they filter the, the water uh, from the lower pond into the into the into the filtration pond and the plants uh, eat or, or survive on the nutrients and then and filter the, the water through back into the pond again so they work they absolutely do work as a filtration system and as a method of keeping fish healthy and, and, and strong. Eco reefs work on the beaver bridge uh, methodology. They, the beavers, as we know, can weave uh, branches and roots and timbers so that they, they, they form a very, very strong barrier and a very strong uh, uh, ecosystem. So we're using basically the same system, except that as human beings, we can't weave like beavers do. So we need to assist the whole uh, mechanism to work. Uh, branches will float. So if there's a big rain, we lose the branches, we lose the roots, and they, they, they float downstream and they're gone. When they, when they, when they knit together, they just, they just hold, they're incredibly strong and hold, but we need to actually support that. We've got two things in our favor. One, we've got rubble and rocks and whatever we need freely available. But we've also got one of the best binders ever produced, and that's waste plastic. We need to use waste plastic. We need to get as much waste plastic out of the equation and into uh, a, a very useful operation and a very useful binder for what we need to produce eco reefs. An eco reef it, taken out, taken out of the out of the water system uh, as a filter is is as you can see works and works incredibly well. But underneath it, it is it is ugly. But it provides uh, um, uh, protection for a, a, a huge variety of marine uh, or aquatic animals and plants. And the plants actually grow out of the eco reefs without any problems at all, as you can see. And the binder starts to disappear in, in, into its own environment. So, as, as we say, fish really don't give a damn about, about how pretty it looks. The thing is, with, with plastic binders, they're incredibly strong. And the, and the weight of, of the rubble and the rock uh, holds the, 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 the filtration or, and, the, and the eco reef in, play, in place. Uh, so I urge you to try to try and produce an eco reef for, your, for yourself, and then use it whichever way you can as a filtration system for your, for your garden pond, or, or 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 take it to the next level and do something really serious with it. Because there's you know it's 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 absolutely unlimited in its in its. Uh, in its usability and its functionality. Uh, we, we're testing it mostly in, a, in an aquatic environment, but eco reefs can be used in, in, and we will show how that they can be used in land and in, in, in soil uh, to prevent soil degradation and, and a, whole, a huge variety of other uses. So please stick with us and just and follow the website, follow the blog, and, and stay with us while we while we experiment with this thing. We can only do small we can only do small experiments because as I say we've only got a we're working in, in just in a normal backyard but as soon as we can can get to the point where we can experiment in a much larger way and as well as in land uh, land reefs we can we can get to the next stage and the next stage. But but meanwhile please use them. Just get your friends to use them, get people out there who have a real serious plastic problem as well as uh, uh, the, the degradation of fish habitat.
please get them to use it. It's free. Nobody needs to. You don't need to do anything. It'd be great if you can give us data as you do it. Uh, you know how your experiments went. What, what, whatever it is, let us know. We, we'd be more than more than grateful for that. Other than that, we don't need anything. So just please go ahead and use them uh, and enjoy them because it, you know it is the future. We can save our fish stocks. We can save our land degradation. We can save flooding. And, and it's such a simple concept. It, it's, it's not. It, it's, it, we, we don't have huge, beautifully designed um, engines that go out to fix the things. It's just you and me, and and, and you know, some twigs and and rocks and and rubble and and, and a plastic binder with a little bit of heat. So please, just get into it, and and you know, keep in touch, and we'll, we'll get there. Thanks very much. <laughs>